All right, everyone, this is the round seven recap, right before we go into the final round of this Operation Iceberg game. Let's start over here in the Pacific. Japan went nuts, loading up five islands with bombers, <clears throat> bombers and infantry, and other units, a uh, couple tacticals here and there, trying to preserve its oil islands. Um, looks like Japan is not going to get the Pacific Island point because U.S. took um, Fiji back from them. They already had Gilbert. Uh, Japan has no transports on the board. So they only have three of the islands. They've got Guam, Philippines, and Borneo. So they are not going to get Pacific Islands. Um, I jumped ahead of myself. I should go look at the tracker here. Again, I'm not sure if Japan's correct. But here's what it's looking like right now on the tracker. Um, so here's the victory points. I realized in my last video, I don't, don't even have a Paris roundel here for some reason. So I'm going to use Juno because it's just as a placeholder. Uh, right now the Axis have Tokyo, Berlin, Rome, World Oil 4 out of 10, Warsaw, Shanghai, Manila, Hong Kong, Atlantic Wall, Paris. Can't see that because of the glare. Um, I think they're shy of Reich. These are the ones that are in play here. They're not going to get World Oil 7 most likely. So I'm going to take that off. Pacific Islands are not going to get as well. New Rome and Reich, possible. So that would put them at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. They can still win. This is going to go down to the wire. Uh, and if my tracker is correct, the Reich should be at 67 right now by the end of round 7. It's probably wrong. I've been wrong on a lot of things when it comes to the tracker for some reason. But that's what it's looking like right now. Um, getting back to the Pacific, Commonwealth built two transports and a tank over here, prepping to maybe take some islands back. UK also offset that by building an air base and a naval base in West India so that this navy could get more reach and the Commonwealth fighters can get more reach. So it should be interesting to see how Japan responds to that. Uh, the US tra transports in 50 are not going to be able to reach anything of any importance, so that's going to be a mute point. All their subs up here are just dancing around, not do, really doing anything important. These transports up here, they're not going to be able to do anything important. So U.S. has almost no role in the Pacific this point forward, except for its bomber and two infantry in Shantung. A uh, notable battle here that happened, the Chinese took their entire stack in Shantung and went at Shanghai. They only killed seven, seven units, so not as good as we were hoping for, but U.K. and China did position well in Qiangxi, so they can hit possibly Hong Kong or Shanghai, and then the Russians up in Shantung could maybe do something. So we'll see what happens there. Um, moving over to the Middle East and Africa. Cairo is well protected at this point. Uh, the U.S. brought some forces in from the center of Africa. Uh, U.K. forces moved back from El Alamein. Uh, Commonwealth uh, attacked Iraq after... So here's what here's what happened. There was a big Italian force uh, here in Iraq. I think there were some Germans too. UK uh, flew over two guys and brought two tanks in and used its entire air force to in completely annihilate that force. Italy then came in with its forces from Syria and took it back. And then Commonwealth went and took it back from Italy. So this is what it's looking like right now at the end of round seven. This is where the Axis navies are. And Russia is positioning preparing to defend against the Axis getting either the Reich point or that last oil point. But ultimately, it's not going to matter because they aren't going to be getting oil seven because even if they keep all four of these islands, that's four there. Um, say they get Iraq, that's five. And then Romania, that's six. They'd have to get Caucasus next, which I don't see them getting. So I think World Oil 7 is safe. Um, Reich is definitely a possibility for the, uh, the Axis this game. Germany moved, finally moved its big force from Slovakia, Hungary into Eastern Poland. They took Baltic and Belarus and then Russia got it back. Uh, moved their three infantry from Romania into Bessarabia, or they may have been there before, I can't remember. So obviously he's going to be making a push into the Ukrainian territories and the Baltic states, uh, probably Karelia. He took Finland back with Italy. Russia, before that, had moved all its forces back from Finland to Leningrad, built a ton of bombers, positioned everything over here in Rostov and Caucasus. Kids are screaming up there, sorry. Uh, and he still reinforced the Atlantic Wall. Uh, U.S. just built some bombers in East U.S. because it has nothing better to do. 
and used its navy from 64 to make it over to 91 just just because so so uh, germany landed landed more units in syria that turn as well i forgot to mention so this game is going to go down to the wire probably down to commonwealth's turn if commonwealth has any units left in the pacific so it's going to be exciting to see we hope we can wrap it up today if not tomorrow and that'll be it for operation iceberg <laughs>